Hello everyone, I'm Vaughn and this is Swag Fitness or Soldiers Walking Along with God. And today's scripture of the day is Psalm 34, 5. Keep your eyes on the Lord. You will shine like the sun and never blush with shame. And that brings us to today's topic for the day. Uh, what direction does God want me to go? But I know you guys are like, oh man, it's another serious video. Um, I know from hearing from some of you, you guys really liked Miss Regina, um, the new character for Swag Fitness. Uh, but rest assured, I promise she will be a reoccurring character and you will see her again. I promise you that. So, but today we're going to get a little bit serious, okay? Uh, so, what is the direction God wants me to go? If you're like me, you were told that you would have to find the will God has for your life. Many of us believe that we would have to go on this big, epic journey in order to find it. Truthfully, we don't have to go anywhere. And we don't have to go on this epic journey just to find the will God has for us. There is no mystery to the will of God because it's already been given to us. And that is through his word. There is no longer any mystery as to who it is you're going to marry. There is no longer any mystery as to knowing what you choose to do for your career. There is no mystery as to how it is you should be living your life. So, what is God's will for my life and what direction does he want me to go? There is God's sovereign will and that is the will that he will accomplish. But more on that another time. We want to know the will that God has for man. So that brings us into our first step. God's will for man is for us to be saved. And 1 Timothy 2, 3-6. This kind of prayer is good and it pleases God, our Savior. God wants everyone to be saved and to know the whole truth, which is, there is only one God, and Christ Jesus is the only one who can bring us to God. Jesus was truly human, and he gave himself to rescue all of us. God showed us this at the right time. And Second Peter 3, 9. The Lord isn't slow about keeping his promises, as some people think he is. In fact, God is patient, because he wants everyone to turn from sin and no one to be lost. We know that as humans sometimes we get caught up in our emotions and sometimes, man who am I kidding, most times we lose control. I'm here to say that we shouldn't be emotionally consumed through our reading growing and abiding in God's Word, it allows us to be spirit-filled and have control of our lives, which is the next step. John 16, 13. The Spirit shows what is true and will come and guide you into the full truth. The Spirit doesn't speak on His own. He will tell you only what He has heard from me, and He will let you know what is going to happen and Romans 8 and 9. You are no longer ruled by your desires, but by God's Spirit who lives in you. People who don't have the Spirit of Christ in them don't belong to Him. Next, God's will for us is to be sanctified or separate from sin, meaning we shouldn't be immoral in matters of sex. We need to handle our bodies in ways that honor God. We don't need to take advantage of people. 
or even be foolish like the rest of the world. 1 Thessalonians 4, 1 through 8. Finally, my dear friends, since you belong to the Lord Jesus, we beg and urge you to live as we taught you. Then you will please God. You're already living that way, but try even harder. Remember the instructions we gave you as followers of the Lord Jesus. God wants you to be holy, so don't be immoral in matters of sex. Respect and honor your wife. Don't be a slave of your desires or live like people who don't know God. You must not cheat any of the Lord's followers in matters of sex. Remember, we warned you that he punishes everyone who does such things. God didn't choose you to be filthy, but to be pure. So, if you don't obey these rules, you're not really disobeying us. You are disobeying God, who gives you his Holy Spirit. The fourth step God has for your life is to be submissive. James 4, 7-8 Surrender to God, resist the devil, and he will run from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Clean up your lives, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you people who can't make up your mind. And 1 Peter 2, 13 through 17. The Lord wants you to obey all human authorities, especially the emperor who rules over everyone. You must obey governors because they are sent by the emperor to punish criminals and to praise good citizens. God wants you to silence stupid and ignorant people by doing right. You are free, but still you are God's servants, and you must not use your freedom as an excuse for doing wrong. Respect everyone and show special love for God's people. Honor God and respect the emperor. We must know that living and being part of this Christian life is not going to be easy. That brings us to this step five, which is we are going to suffer. I know you guys don't like to hear that, but um, according to 1 Peter 2, 20-21, you don't gain anything by being punished for some, uh, for some wrong you have done. But God will bless you if you have to suffer for doing something good. After all, God chose you to suffer as you follow in the footsteps of Christ, who set an example by suffering for you. And 1 Peter 4, 19. If you suffer for obeying God, you must have complete faith in your Creator and keep on doing right. The sixth step is that we give thanks. So 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Whatever happens, keep thanking God because of Jesus Christ. This is what God wants you to do. So, in summary, we are to follow these six steps. First, we are to be saved. Be spirit-filled. Be separate from sin. Be submissive. We are to suffer, and we are to give thanks. Now, when we do each of these six steps, we can do whatever it is we want. What do I mean by that? What I mean is, us being new creatures, we no longer live for our own selfish desires. With us being spirit-filled, that is, filled by the Holy Spirit, God plants his desires in us. Psalm 37, 4 through 7. Do what the Lord wants, and he will give you your heart's desire. Let the Lord lead you, and trust him to help. Then it will be as clear as the noonday sun that you are right. Be patient and trust the Lord. Don't let it bother you when all else, when all goes well for those who do sinful things. And guys, that brings us to the end of what direction does God want me to go. Um, I want to take this time to thank you guys 
again for making it to the end of this video. I know there, there wasn't really anything exciting um, today like Miss Regina on Wednesday, but I promise you guys you will see her again. Uh, thank you for continuing to show your love and support. Uh, it all depends on you guys uh, as to the success for the growth of Swag Fitness. Guys, if you like what you saw, if you like this video, if you like anything on Swag Fitness, please feel free to leave any kind of questions, comments, or qu uh, suggestions that you might have or things that you want to see uh, from this channel. Please, I, I beg of you. Um, I'm getting kind of lonely here. I, I don't have any anybody to talk to. Nobody to call my own. Lonely, Mr. Lonely. I have nobody to call my own. I'm just messing with you guys. But seriously, please leave any kind of questions, comments, or suggestions that you might have in the comment section below. And guys, please, if you're new to this channel, I want you to subscribe and share this content with anyone that you know. We want to do our best to get our message out there to anyone who is willing to listen. That's all the time that we have for today, but until next time, continue to be blessed. Continue to be soldiers. Be a soldier that walks along with God.